Okay guys, so the very first deal that we're gonna get into this morning at Walgreens, well it's morning for me, I don't know what time it is for you guys, but the very first deal we're gonna get into is gonna be on the Your Good Skin products. Now these products are new to me. I've not had a chance to use them yet, but the deal is so good, I can't pass it up. You can see right here that in my store, they have put up these store coupons for $3 off any Your Good Skin product. Okay, so that means you can use this coupon on any product by Your Good Skin. Okay, so there are several to choose from, but immediately my eyes are falling on the lip balm that is only $3.36. That's right, it's only $3.36 for the lip balm. Okay, and this is what it looks like. So if it's only $3.36, and we're gonna use this coupon for $3 off. You guessed it, we're only gonna pay 36 cents. Now in my store, these coupons are, you know, put on the shelves, employees do that a lot. But I wanna show you another option of where you may find them. Don't be afraid to ask your local store. In my store, they also have them on this little standee over here, this little display. Okay, so there's an entire care pad right over here by the cosmetics department okay so try to look around the store and again don't be afraid to ask but I'm gonna go back over here and grab one of these products by your good skin let's just look at the general pricing area with these products I'm seeing 561 for a few of the products okay and then we move on up to 636 so either way you're gonna see a variety of price ranges so you should be able to find something affordable for you and don't forget that if you purchase any of these products it will count towards your beauty points okay but being the couponer that I am I'm gonna go with the cheapest product and that's gonna be the lip balm So this week at Walgreens, we're going to be talking about how to get free, almost free, super cheap makeup, okay? So this week's makeup brand of choice is going to be Rimmel London. Now, I know a lot of you may not be familiar with this brand or it might not be your brand of choice, but when makeup is free or super cheap, I always give it a chance and I found that there are several brands that I've come to like. You know, especially for those days when I don't want my face like completely beat. I just need to look decent. I need to look like a human when I go in the store. Um, brands like these keep you from using up your favorite brands and um, having to put that more pricey makeup on. This will actually help you on those in-between days when you just need a little here and a little there. So let's get started with this deal. And I'm going to be teaching some basic couponing um, and some tricks for people, even if you're a veteran, you might want to listen to this portion. So the Rimmel London is 40% off this week here at Walgreens, okay? But we also have this $3 off principle for $3 off on any one Rimmel eye product. And this was found on coupons.com. You can see right here, it says coupons.com, okay? So I found this coupon on coupons.com. Okay, so the Rimmel London is 40% off and the coupon is for $3 off any one eye product. So I'm going to start looking for the cheapest eye product and now we're going to have a small couponing lesson. Okay, and some of you who've been with me for a while, you may know this already. So to me, the cheapest eye product that I see so far would be this here. It's $3.77 and I would get $3 off. But there's something Guys, very, front, very important that you should know about coupon barcodes that manufacturers fail to tell um, the consumer. This barcode begins with 5012874. And the coupons barcode begins with 360734. For those reasons, with the barcodes being so different, I would assume that they would not scan, that this coupon would not scan on that eyeshadow. Okay, I want you to remember the barcode that we're looking at right now. 36073 versus the barcode on the eye product, which is 5012874. One, okay, they're very different. Okay, now you might say, well, it says any eye product, and it does, so your store cashier might push it through. However, I do want to show you this example. 
Take a look at this eye product, this mascara. Read those barcode numbers, 360734. Let's go back to the coupon, 360734. Let's place those together so we can get a better look. Okay, you see the coupon barcode versus the product barcode. Those first few numbers are the same. This lets me know with an assurity that there is a more likely chance that this coupon will attach to this product without any problems. This is advanced couponing, okay? So if that goes over your head, don't worry about it. I'm not trying to confuse you. I just do want to let you know that at Walgreens, a lot of people have trouble scanning their makeup coupons. And they, all, they often say, why didn't my coupon scan? It said the right thing. Their system is like that here, okay? It's more likely that if your barcode scans, if your barcode matches, that your coupon will scan, okay? Not saying that you can't get the other product. I'm just saying if it beeps or it gives you a hard time, then you know exactly why. And again, that's advanced couponing. So I'm going to put this one back because the barcode is different, which leads me to believe that there is a more likelihood that I'll have a hard time at the register. I don't want that. So I'm going to put that one back. Now, let's get back to the deals. This mascara is priced at $3.89, so I would rather use my $3 off coupon on this to make it only $0.89, cents, okay? So I'm going to get four of these. Okay guys, so I found this one, which is priced at $2.87, which is even better than the $3 prices that we've been seeing. And the great part about this one is I also have a $2 off coupon, um, which is pretty much the same, $2 off any one Roma London eye product. Okay? Okay, so here's a pretty decent deal this week. The Purex Crystals are on sale for $1.99 as well as the Purex Detergent. And it's gonna be this size. And make sure you pay attention to the limits at your store. Some stores might say, oh, you can only get four. Like my store says a limit of four. So just make sure that you don't pick up like a ton of them. Okay, so two would be a great number to start, especially if you're a newbie. But the Purex is $1.99 for the detergent and for the crystals. In great news, we have coupons for both of them. We have a coupon for a dollar off of the crystals, which would make it 99 cents a bottle. And then we also have coupon for a dollar off of the detergent, which also makes it 99 cents a bottle. And that's a great price for a detergent. So if you have that coupon, go ahead and clip it. If you don't have it, 199 is still a pretty great price, especially if you pay full price for it, usually. And you can see down here that the regular price was 499. So even if you don't have a coupon, just hop into your local Walgreens and just grab a bottle for 199. It's really better than paying full price any other day. Okay. So the last deal I'm going to get into is going to be, this is not advanced level, but it's not beginner level either. Okay, so I don't want to say this is advanced. A seasoned couponer could do this in their sleep, but if you're new, I'm going to try to explain it as best as I can. Hopefully my store has some of the candy left. Okay, so here at Walgreens, they have things called register rewards. They're little slips of paper that print out after you make a purchase, a qualifying purchase, okay? It doesn't print out after you buy anything. It prints out after you make a qualifying purchase and you can usually tell what will qualify because as you see on this sign how it says, get 89 cent and register rewards. This is letting you know that this item will qualify to get you a register reward back, okay? And it's letting you know what you have to buy in order to get it, okay? When you buy one Oreo Milka chocolate, chocolate bar okay these are almost gone so I'm glad I got here in time okay and let me show you exactly what a register reward looks like I believe I have some okay they look like this okay so it's telling me if I buy this then I'll get this back it's basically saying if you give us 89 cents we'll give you this candy bar and we'll give you your 89 cents back not in cash but in Walgreens money and it's saying you can use this 89 cents that they give you right back to buy anything else in the store except for tobacco, alcohol, lottery tickets, stamps, and things like milk. You know, the usual exclusions, but you can usually 
use it for pretty much anything that you would normally want to buy in a store like Walgreens okay so just to review again register rewards are this when you make a qualifying purchase you come in you grab one of these bars okay you take it to the register and you pay for it you give them the 89 cents plus tax they give you your candy bar and your receipt and they give you this as well so it's basically like free you just got your money back but in a register reward which is just paper money here at Walgreens that can be used at Walgreens so I hope that was pretty simple I tried to simplify it as much as possible but this is a great deal now some people ask the question if I get two candy bars in my transaction will they print me two of these no 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 that is a huge mistake that a lot of beginners make they assume that well, it says it'll give me 89 cents back, so let me just get 10 of them at once. And then you're like, boo-hoo, because you only get one of these back, okay? There's only one offer per transaction, okay? So you can only do this once per transaction. If you want more than one, you have to pay for your one, get your receipt, and get this back. Get back in line, buy another one, get your receipt and candy. They'll give you one of these. Get back in line, buy another one wash rinse and repeat basically okay but you cannot buy them all at once and get all of the register rewards back in that case people would take the whole box and just dump it up there and get the money right back okay it's an offer that's meant to be spread for many customers okay and so they make it in a way that you'll get tired of getting back in line and doing it over and over again and the average customer will only probably get one or two okay but it's up to you and up to the manager of that store how many times they allow you to you know continue to make separate transactions but for this deal I'm going to get one of the Oreo Milkas okay and it's going to give me this 89 cents back I will walk you through that transaction. We will actually just come and do that transaction, okay? So I'm gonna grab two of them because I want to show you how to break up your transactions. So I'm gonna grab two, and of course I'm not gonna pay for them at the same time. Okay guys, so for the sh sake of showing you exactly how this will go, I'm gonna do one at a time. And this is what you would do. Of course, you remember not to hold up the line, and if you're nervous or you have any questions, you just ask your cashier. And the first thing you always wanna do is put your phone number in for balance rewards. Okay, so my total came out to 95 cents with tax, and now I'm gonna go ahead and pay. Okay, so I've paid, and when I hear that beep, I know that something is going to print. And that's my register reward. So I received my register reward, I've got my candy, I'll go ahead and just drop it in a bag, and I'll get out of line, because that's the polite thing to do. You always want to do that. Thank you. You always want to give other people a chance. You too. And then, I'll use my 89 cents on something else. Now here's something that's very important, and a lot of people don't know it is that you can't use your 89 cents that you get back to purchase another item that's the same. Because the Oreo company gave me this 89 cents, unfortunately I can't use it on anything from them. Okay, so if we look at it, it says, your next in-store purchase, thank you from Mondelez. You can't use it on another Mondelez product, okay? And they make these candy bars. So I'll save that for something else. Even though I have the second candy bar in my cart and I would wanna use it on that because it's like, hey, they gave me 89 cents, this is 89 cents, yeah. But actually it's more like, no, you can't do it that way, okay? So um, I'll save this 89 cents for something else and I have a pretty, idea, a pretty good idea of what I wanna use it on. Now another good reason you would want to get out of line is because it gives you a chance to pull your cart to the side and I'll let you guys see my little setup here. I always pull my cart to the side and I can kind of get my life together, you know what I'm saying? Like when you're in line and there's a ton of people around, it's like, oh my gosh, what do I do next? You make your purchase, you get out of line, you pull to the side and you get your life, okay? Don't be intimidated, don't be mad, don't be sad. If anyone's looking, oh well, that's their business. You're trying to shop, you're trying to save, okay? So that's the purchase I made. I have my other items in the cart that I'm still going to purchase, but I always pull to the side because hey, couponing can be mentally stressful. I mean, I know you guys know the same thing, and just because I do it a lot doesn't mean that I'm exempt from getting a little uh, in the store, you know what I mean? Like, it gets overwhelming. So, for my first transaction, I just did one candy bar, and I got 89 cents back. Okay, I paid 89 cents plus tax, and I got the 89 cents right back. And now, I'm going to go buy the second candy bar. 
Okay, so I went ahead and finished my second transaction and I now have three of these because remember I had one already from a previous day that I did this deal and I did two more transactions today. So I have a total of three of these coupons to save 89 cents on anything that I want and I have a pretty good idea of something that I want to get now You don't have to get what I'm going to get um, But I think this is a really awesome way that we can spend these 89 cents register rewards Okay, so as I was walking around the store, I noticed that these awesome hand lotions are only 99 cents. That seems like the perfect way to spend these. I mean, 89 cents, 99 cents. We wouldn't be paying very much for them at all. Okay, so since I have three of these, I'm just going to grab three lotions. They won't be free, but they'll be pretty close to it. And this is a great way that I'll have three candy bars and three lotions. Okay, so if you're a visual person, then this will be a great visual for you, and I'll walk you through it one more time. Okay, so you're going to go into the store. You'll buy one Oreo candy bar. Your total will come out to $0.89 cents plus tax. You'll pay, and they'll give you one of these slips of paperback, which we call register rewards. After you get that paperback, go ahead and pick up one of these $0.99 cents lotions, take it to the register, and use your paper coupon to pay your total should come down to about 10 cents plus tax. So look to pay at least between 10 to 20 cents depending on your state tax. Okay, you don't have to do this three times like I did. You know, I ended up buying three candy bars in separate transactions and getting three of these back. But if this is your first time, why don't you take that take this plunge by going into the store and getting that candy bar, paying for it, getting your register reward, taking your register reward and a lotion to the register and paying for it. And then it would be best for you to just leave, go back in the car or wherever you're going and reflect and tell yourself, hey, I did it. I bought the candy, I got the lotion, and I barely paid a dollar for both. I think that would be the best way. If this is your first time trying, go ahead, buy one candy bar, pay for it, get your register reward back, use your register reward to go get the lotion, pay a few cents, go home like a boss and say yeah I did that I finally did it I couponed at Walgreens and it was not hard this would be the best way for you to get your feet wet okay so this is a shot of my complicated cart it's not as bad as it seems I'll talk you through it we just discussed the lotion so you guys kind of have that scenario down now if we go up to the Rimmel I have four of those and over here I have four of the $3 off Rimmel coupons. Remember the Rimmels were $3.89. So $3.89 and I have a coupon for $3 off each one, making them $0.89 cents each. This Rimmel was $2.89 and I have a coupon for $2 off, making it only $0.89. Cents. And then the Your Good Skin, it was $3.61 I believe and then I have this $3 off coupon. Now I have this $5 coupon that you get five dollars back in points when you spend twenty five dollars now I didn't calculate my total I don't know if I'll quite be at twenty five but I always clip this just in case so I'll be ready this coupon the five dollar off coupon can be found in the Walgreens ad which is free and it's located in the front of the store I'm going to go check out I'm excited to see what my total will be I'm excited to see if I'll earn beauty bucks this just seems like a good shopping trip I was not gonna come to Walgreens this week but now I'm kind of optimistic it seems like there were a few good deals that were hiding that I didn't give a chance so let's see what my total will come out to be okay guys so all of my items are being ring up right now and I already put my balance rewards number in so that's already happening and the total is 26 26 right now but that's before my balance rewards number is processed in the system so it will it'll come down a little bit don't be nervous if you get to the register and your total is pretty high you have to account for your coupons see it's dropping now when your coupons are scanned you have to think about that and then you also have to think about um, it, the register takes time it is a machine so don't panic don't freak out right away okay guys so my final total after all of my coupons were scanned came down to $6.59 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pay with my Walgreens points okay so apparently I have five dollars in points that I can use on this transaction so I'm gonna go ahead and use them 
Okay guys, so this is it. This is everything from my final haul. I'm missing one candy bar, of course. We're not gonna say what might have happened to that. Hint, hint. But um, <laughs> yeah, uh, they look pretty good, you know, so you have to try them when you buy them. But um, yeah, so two of the Oreo candy bars and um, everything else, this is what I got. So my total came out to 509 plus tax for that last transaction. Um, what did I do with my receipt? I'm looking for it so I can show you guys my total, but my total came out to 509 plus tax, which brought me to 651 total. Okay, so here's my receipt. You can see where all of my coupons came off, and my total came out to 509 plus tax, which put me at 659, which I think is a decent price for all of this. Um, of course, I did the candy bar on a separate transaction. Remember, we did that separately to get those register rewards back. So I'll keep that out of the picture for now. So that really means that all of this was 509 plus tax. But you have the lotions. They were valued at 99 cents each. The Yogurt Skin Lip Balm was 361. Then you have all of the Rimmel products that were 389. And then the Brow This Way kit, which looks really nice. I can't wait to try that was $2.89 so we're looking at a decent value here but after all of those coupons came off I mean wow 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 now I did not get the five dollars back in points because the cashier forgot to scan my coupon was I mad no kind of but I let it go he was like oh I forgot to scan that one and I'm like you know what don't even worry about it so I didn't get my five dollars back in points but that's okay but I did get this back a $10 reward on my next purchase when I spend $25 so at least I got this and next time I'm in the store and I spend 25 or do this again at least I'll get $10 back which kind of makes up for where he forgot to scan my other coupon but all in all I paid with points as you can see that rewards redemption so it wasn't like I spent any money really out of my pocket I paid five dollars in points and then the other 159 because it was 659 so minus my five dollars the other one dollar and 59 cents i just paid out of my pocket so really this was a dollar 59 for me so you can actually replicate this if you have at least five dollars in points you can end up paying a dollar 59 for all of this but like i said i wasn't even going to give walgreens a chance this week but i'm kind of glad i did this is a pretty good deal and all i see right now like in my mind all i see is stocking stuffers you know what i'm saying like lip balm um body lotion makeup totally stocking stuffers so if that's something you're trying to put together now to get ready for christmas with me then go ahead and try this deal if you have any questions leave them in the comments below i do my best to answer all questions however if you want your questions answered faster, join my Facebook group. It's so awesome. I have moderators in there that know just as much about couponing as I do. They can answer any of your questions. I'm in there. I can answer any of your questions. So just go ahead and join my Facebook group. All the information will be in the description box below. Let's get into some Ibotta deals. Oh, I see my favorite cashier. Hold on one second. Good morning. Good morning, Christina. I just missed you. <laughs> Um, I did, I got like Rimmel makeup, lotions. Guys, one second, I do have to talk to my favorite cashier. 